Nothing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town What's good folks and welcome to another Beanie Nation video all about Borderlands and in this video guys I will be showcasing my Moe's build is an absolute crit machine she bosses the bosses like no tomorrow she literally puts them over there, her knee and spanks them that's how good she is guys so let's get into the video so as you can see guys what's just popped up on your screen is the screenshot of the skill trees that i took i mainly went down into the blue with a little bit of green and a little bit of red so let me explain why i went into the blue tree as i did now with the first skill in the blue tree that i maxed out is a fire in the stag then which states whenever moes or iron bear deal splash damage they get a bonus incendiary damage so obviously that helps dramatically with the other um, splash damage and incendiary damages that you'll be unlocking in all the other skill trees and on the second layer you need to max out pull the holy pin which grenades have a chance to score additional damage when they crit so basically every time they crit they get an additional crit and then obviously you max it out to the point where you get down to the bottom skill which is short fuse now short fuse states explosive damage gains an additional 20 percent extra but gun damage and explosive damage bearing in mind the gun has to do a splash dash explosive damage it gains an extra 75 percent so those three skills put together with the additional red and green tree skills which i'm about to explain she deals multiplicative damage guys she does she deals that much damage you you can literally kill bosses with like two to three million hit critical hits easy it just kills them now as i was explaining guys um the main reason i went into the green tree was uh cloud of the lead which obviously mows or dash iron bear when they shoot they deal additional incendiary damage which obviously stacks bearing in mind stacks with fire of the stag den no one knows this it actually stacks on top of each other and then stroke of the ember which obviously increases the incendiary moses and iron bears incendiary damage which obviously you're stacking upon stacking upon stacking the incendiary damage bonuses splashes explosives the lot guys so as i said she does multiplicative damage and then obviously in the red tree experimental mut mut uh, mutation is when mo's dash iron bear scores a critical hit they deal an additional bonus incendiary damage so you're stacking on the incendiary damage with the splash damage guys and don't forget you've got desperate measures as well in the red tree that you want to unlock which is obviously most uh moses gun damage is increased depending on how low her health health is now bearing in mind this is depends on what you take with your gear which obviously i'm gonna uh, explain and also go into additional like ideas that you can take like um, you can take the deathless you can take front loader you can take old gold which i obviously taken in this but also don't forget guys also in the um orange uh orange dash red skill tree whatever color it is for you there is a a skill in there which you need to match which obviously reserves some of moses health and puts it onto a shield so obviously that also helps desperate me use measures as well which is absolutely phenomenal those skills on their own literally deal the fucking damage that you need as well as there is one other skill and it's called um it's the middle one with the explosive cloud every time you deal splash damage it's got a chance to double and that's in the blue tree as well guys that's why the blue tree for this build is fantastic it's just literally 
insane for how much crit you do in that guys so as i said that's the skill tree guys they are that's the reasons why i took those skill trees as i said she, the blue tree is key to this build she deals multiplicative damage so guys if you're gonna try this build out i will warn you now guys if you're not careful this build can also kill you because of how much splash you're doing but other than that, guys, this build is absolutely a one bot. It literally tears through bosses. So as I said, guys, there's my skull trees and everything, guys. So, yeah, copy, paste it, copy, paste it if you want to give it a try, guys. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. This build's absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to go into the gear and the reason why I took the weapons that I did as well, guys. So, uh, let's go. Let's do it. Well, as you can see, guys, what's just popped on your screen now is the gear loadout that I took. And obviously, the gear loadout is key to this to a certain degree. You can literally do it with any weapon as long as it's got either a splash damage mod or a explosive mod. So obviously, as you can see, the four weapons I took were the Sandhawk, the Yellow Cape, the OPQ systems, and the Chaosin. Now, the annoyance matter to a certain degree, like you for obviously because you're taking mows, there's three more annoyance, or no, sorry, four annoyance that you want to look for. You've got the minus 50% health, 150% additional radiation. You can go with the consecutive hits, the exiting the iron bear, gain additional splash damage for 18 seconds, 160% splash damage for addi additional 18 seconds while exiting the iron bear, or you can go the obvious one which everybody goes for is the 300% damage to 90% health on enemies, so basically uh, they are the four anoints that you want to look for if you're going to go for this build. And obviously the weapons that I took, obviously as I explained, a deal additional splash damage. So the Sandhawk, the Yellow Cape, the OPQ systems and the Kerosen are absolutely nutty for this build. And obviously with the annoyance that I just mentioned, I only took two with me. I took the 300% 90 and the consecutive hits, which is absolutely nutty as I said. It's absolutely amazing guys what this build can do and it's all thanks to the blue tree and plus plus in that with Minesweeper you've got a nutty crit multiplicative damage. It just goes off and it's just nutty. Have I said nutty too many times? I don't think I've said nutty enough. <laughs> but other than that guys, it's absolutely and <sighs> Well, what else can I say, guys? It's nutty. But as I said, guys, you... Obviously, with the red tree, you... With the desperate measures, though, you can take either... One of three things. You can take a front loader, a deathless, or an old gold. I took the old gold. It does exactly what it says on the team with the annoying with action skill and incendiary damage is increased. Obviously, that doesn't stack with the incendiary damage. It's a shame, but it's there as an additional. Uh, but obviously, the grenade, the grenade, the mod class, the weapons, and the blue skill tree are the key to this. So the grenade is farmable in the vending machines, guys, which obviously is called the cloudy man tracker, which obviously splits and splits and splits. It deals the damage that you need. But other than that, guys, there that is the gear. I'm gonna get into the modifiers now, which obviously people say, oh, you need to go for the grenade. No, you don't need the grenade modifier. I'm about to show you the modifiers that I took. So stay tuned, guys. Well, as you can see, guys, what's just popped on is my modifiers from Mayhem 10, guys. So, obviously, I had Speed Demon as easy, Medium was Mob Mentality, Hard was Pool Party, and Very Hard was Buddy System. Why are you doing bosses, guys? The, I would say go for them, but if you want to look for the grenade one, go for the grenade one. You don't need it, I think, personally, because, as I said, multiple of stacking damage. But other than that, guys, this is your boy, Beanie Nation, bringing you a Mose build, crit, crit, nutty build, and see you all in the next one. Peace.